You see, AZ was next. Alpo wanted both of these dudes gone. He didn't want to leave AZ alive in Harlem. Alpo was a strategic thinker. He didn't want to leave AZ alive in Harlem because he was afraid that AZ would get some dudes together and they probably would retaliate for what he did to Rich. I'ma get deep. Tear those comments up, man. Another reason Alpo wanted AZ gone is because Alpo wasn't sure if AZ was going to turn into a rat because of the situation what he had just got into with his sister's boyfriend where the dude busting with the dude. Y'all seen the movie and he almost lost his life. You know, the police wanted to know who AZ was. This is the reason that AZ had to immediately make his exit out of the game is because the police was now on his back because all of the people was at the hospital when he got shot. So the police and the feds is like, yo, who is this dude? You know what I'm saying? He, at that time, everybody in Harlem was a big player and the feds was really starting to crack down and put these dudes away. So just off of AZ getting hit up like that and the way people was talking about it in the streets and all of that, the feds and the police knew that, okay, this dude is somebody. And if AZ would have been stupid enough to keep on hustling, they would have eventually wrapped the case around him and AZ would be in Florence, Colorado in ADX with Big Meech and all of them right now. And that's another reason Alpo wanted AZ gone because in his mind, he put all of that into play. He thought about all of that. He knew that the feds was involved with A behind them dudes busting in his crib. So Alpo said, yo, we got to get rid of this dude too because if they get their hands on him, this dude might tell everything. Trust me, Alpo said something similar to this. Yo, we got to get rid of the dude because the dude is hot. The feds is on him. Dudes just tried to kill him. I mean, we might as well just finish this off now and just, and just close it because we don't want to have to deal with this dude later on if the feds do wrap a case around this dude because he know everything that I did and everything I, who I'm involved with and I don't want to deal with that. He already at his lowest point right now. We might as well just, like I said, kill two with one stone and go back to D.C. I'm going to do my thing out there. I'm going to let this thing die down in Harlem. I'm going to come back to Harlem and I'm going to be Scarface out there. But I cannot leave this dude alive out there. I can't. And that's why Alpo and Big Head Gary was sitting on the block waiting for AZ to come. Because they had just did that to Rich. Tear that like button up. Y'all heard AZ say that when he saw Alpo and Big Head Gary the first time, he asked Alpo, what happened to your face, man? Alpo said, yo, me and my girl in D.C. got into a fight. But just like AZ said in the story that he told, the reason why Alpo had the scratches on his face is because when the dude in the back shot Rich, Rich knew that it was an ambush. So he grabbed Alpo's face with his hands and Richard had like long nails. So that's how Alpo got the scratches on his face is because like I said, when the dude from the back hit him, Richard knew that it was a setup. So that was him being so angry that he just tried to go for Poe and his nails grabbed right on his face. And he just clutched down and scratched him as hard as he could. But that was the last time he moved like that because the dude in the back hit him again and made sure that Rich was gone. The way that AZ probably asked Alpo, yo, what happened to your face, man? Alpo automatically knew this dude knows something because the way that he asked me, it was like he on to something. You know what I'm saying? Even though I told him me and my girl got into a fight, he don't believe that because Alpo knew it was ringing in his mind the way that he just came up and just asked me, yo, what happened to your face, man? Because Alpo knew this dude don't know that Rich is dead yet. But when he find out, he going to remember back, Rich got those nails and the scratches on my face. I can guarantee y'all they was riding around in that car and they said, yeah, we definitely got to go back and get him. Because you heard the way he just asked you that? Oh, yeah, we definitely got to go back and get him. We should have just did it when we had him right there by the car. Alpo said, yeah, we're going to get him. We're going to swing back around, sit on his block, wait for him to pull up. Then when he come, we're going to call him to the car. 
do it then and just get out of here and head back to D.C. There wasn't no more love. After what he had just did to Rich, you think he had some kind of love for AZ? Come on, man. Hey, yo, the person that rolled up Alpo is somebody from the 80s. I can guarantee y'all this. This person was someone that Alpo humiliated. This person was a person that probably lost someone that they really loved because of Alpo, man. No one from today did that to Alpo. I'm going to say it again. That was someone from the 80s that Alpo did something to and they wanted revenge since the 80s and when they saw Alpo they could not let the opportunity go this person is someone who is in the same age bracket as Alpo who said to themselves, I ain't got much time left anyway I'm gonna finish this dude for what he did to me and if I get caught for it I get caught for it but I ain't got much time left anyway so I'll finish the rest of my time sitting in there but one thing I'll know and that the streets will know is that I got rid of Alpo. That's who that person is. And real talk, whoever this person is, if that person does get caught for it, that person in any jail that they put that person in is going to be looked at as a hero. You can mention Alpo's name in any jail facility anywhere in the world. And you'll hear, oh yeah, the dude that killed his best friend and told on everybody. So just imagine, that person will be looked at in any jail as a person that did something good. An inmate getting that kind of recognition for taking somebody out is unheard of. This inmate is getting free commissary donated to him from inmates around the jail for what he did to Alpo. He don't never have to go to commissary because... Inmates are sending him bags of stuff every other day saying thank you for doing what you did for the streets. I mean, for real. You can't even lock a person like that up. Who would want to do something to the guy who got rid of one of the biggest rats in the world, man? It is forbidden to be an Alpo fan in any jail. I mean, you'll hear stories of the money and the cars that they had, but the ending of it, you're going to hear that what he did. And it's never good. And there is no rat lovers in jail. And there is no Alpo fans in jail. I've never heard of anybody in jail supporting Alpo. And being able to live saying that you support what Alpo did. It just don't work like that. Get in those comments, man. So I want y'all to think about that part of it too. If this person does get caught, how good that person is going to be living in jail. Whatever jail they put them in, they're going to live like a king. You was just tuned in to The Real Rap Show. The real reason Alpo was killed. Continued. It's your man Supreme. Everybody out there stay safe. Give the channel a subscribe. Like this video. Remember, keep it locked here with me, y'all. I know what's up. Peace, y'all.